hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. Ever since I first learned English, I've wanted to know which is the best half of the alphabet. The first half of the alphabet is pretty awesome. They've got a lot of good vowels, but the second half is so cool. Like, look at Q. I've gone back and forth on this over the years, and I think at this point, the only way we can definitively know which half of the alphabet is better is obviously to have the first and second half of the alphabet compete in a video game tournament. So today, I wrote some Python code that will allow my Twitch chat viewers to compete against themselves in a series of video games. Now, I've done a few videos already where my Twitch chat plays a video game, and it usually goes something like this. Step one, give them control of the game. Step two, tell them not to die. Step three, but this time things are different because my Python code will actually split the viewers into two different teams. So if the first letter of someone's username starts in the first half of the alphabet, A through M, they will automatically be in team one, the A crew. And if the first letter of their name starts with N through Z in the second half of the alphabet, they will automatically be in team two, the Z crew. And so if anybody types a word into chat, they will be controlling the game for their specific player. And now that we have our two alphabet teams created and over 400 viewers per team, it was time to start the tournament. A crew and Z crew will compete in five different games. The first team to win three of these five video games will take the entire tournament and officially be the best half of the alphabet. So let's kick this off with Super Smash Bros 64. Both teams are going to have three lives per game and they will play three total games. Game number one, putting you guys right in the center. Fox for team two, DK for team one. That's it. Okay, now pick a, pick a stage. You've picked it. Okay, we're now live. Good luck, everybody. First match, A crew is Donkey Kong. Z crew is Fox, who immediately jumped off the edge, but then landed in the barrel and shot back up. All right, this is some high octane Smash Bros gameplay right now. Again, left, right, up to jump, down to move down, right smash, left smash. Okay, a lot of a lot of up smashes, down smashes. Why is okay? DK gets knocked off. Fox's strategy of just sort of sitting in the middle seems to be pretty powerful. DK's kind of flirting with the edge here. <laughs> oh, just barely missing. Charge punch. Smash into Fox. And <laughs> DK jumps right off. Congratulations to Z Crew. Well done. A Crew just sort of kills themselves three times. And Z Crew takes game number one. Game number two. You guys are live in two. One. Link versus Kirby. Round number two. Good luck, everybody. Nice get up attack. This is an intense moment. Is Link going to stand there? Oh, <laughs> the juke! Oh, get fucked, Z Crew. But in game two, the tables turn. Now A Crew's all hot, smacking up Z Crew. Another strong victory from A Crew. Oh! Does Kirby move to the right? Three up for A Crew. This is a best of three. Currently, Z Crew is up by one. The Z Crew is hovering on the edge. And. Oh man, uh, in an intense, climactic ending, Zeker kills themselves. It's now one to one. Whoever wins this next game will win Smash Bros. This is the tiebreaker. Fox from Z Crew. Mario, back to Hyrule. This is it. Good luck, A Crew. Good luck, Z Crew. May the best half of the alphabet win. This is fucking intense. Look at the moves. Look at the speed. They're moving so fast, it almost looks like they're standing still. You are at a high enough percent that Smash attacks are going to start to kill. Okay, right next to each other. Oh my G A crew with the fucking taunt, even though you're down a stock. Going for the mental game, I see. Just incredible. Through sheer mental fortitude and intimidation, A crew has scared Z crew off the edge. All right, two lives left. Now, interestingly, we started to see very clear personalities for these two teams. The A crew started to make all of these flashy plays, like over and over, going for combos and items and taunting as Mario right in front of Z crew. Z crew, do not jump off the edge. Okay, you're back in. And now, oh, the A crew taunt. Oh! Oh, you taught it right in his stupid face. He kicks you off the top of the screen. But despite all of the A crew's flashy showmanship, the second half of the alphabet was playing cold and calculated. Z crew never taunts. They never go for flashy plays. It's just strong execution. Last life. Okay, nice up smash from A crew. All right, Z crew currently at higher percent. Mario, that green thing is such... Is that it? Mario grabs the edge. And Mario's back up. One smash out of the way! And dash in! Still the great thing! Oh shit! 
Z Crew biding their time until finally they dash in left smash and fucking crush A Crew. Well done. Z Crew takes the Smash Bros block. Well done. Z Crew clutches the last round and wins Smash Bros. Now we're on to game two, Mario Kart 64. Both teams will play and they have to complete a single lap. Whoever crosses the finish line first wins it all. Now I was gonna obviously have them play the first level, Luigi Raceway, but then somebody from the A Crew demanded Rainbow Road instead, the flashiest level in the game. Do Rainbow Road, you coward. If you guys really want Rainbow Road, we can do Rainbow Road. I'm just, it's gonna be a fucking disaster. I'm trying to help here. Typical ballsy request from A Crew, but fine. This, really, this is what you want. And here we go, good luck everybody. Rainbow fucking Road. So again, you have Drive. Gotta hand it to A Crew. Can't believe you, <laughs> can't believe you did the starting thing. Now, I'm noticing a lot of you guys are turning right and left right now when there's not a lot of reason to do that. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna finish a lap. I actually think that if you guys don't do anything other than drive, you would do better than what you're currently doing. Uh, Acre, you are going the wrong direction. <laughs> Zekru, what are you doing? You're just sitting there. I continue to be shocked at how close this is. This is like an incredibly close race, despite just the most god-awful Mario Kart gameplay I've ever seen. Now, the entire first half of this level, the two teams were basically tied, with Z Crew moving slowly and A Crew spinning around wildly. But about two-thirds of the way in, Z Crew hit this wall, and instead of turning left towards the finish line, they turned right, making a critical mistake stake down the path. Luigi, one mushroom left, starting to straighten out about a fifth of the level, but you are going the wrong direction. That is going to be a killer if you don't turn around right now, especially if you use your mushroom while going the wrong direction. And it's pretty obvious by now that these two teams are just Guy Fieri and Gordon Ramsay. In their early career, Guy and Gordon were basically even, just like A Crew and Z Crew. They both owned lots of restaurants and started appearing on TV, but suddenly Guy Fieri's ridiculous showmanship and ballsy plays catapulted him to international success with his show Diners Drive and dives. And just like Guy Fieri, A Crew's flashy gameplay suddenly paid off in a major way, leaving poor Z Crew in the dust. That's the finish line. A Crew's almost there, looking at the finish line with just a little bit more. Z Crew's catching up with the star. Z Crew's catching up with the star. Z Crew's catching up, but it doesn't matter. A Crew takes the first lap, and that is point for A Crew. A Crew crushed the Mario Kart victory, and now the score is one to one. The next game is Super Mario Bros. All right, we're now into round three. It's tie game. We're gonna be playing some motherfucking Mario Bros. Both teams will take turns playing Mario and then try to make it as far as possible in the level. They're each gonna get five lives, five chances, and A Crew is up first. Here we go. Good luck, A Crew. Oh, I should probably show you guys the game. Oops. Apparently you guys not seeing the game actually <laughs> actually makes you perform better. Uh, I gotta say, this is going quite well. A crew, again, Z crew, you can't, you're not doing anything right now. You're standing back. It's just A crew trying to get as far as possible with one continue. Okay, lost to the Goomba. If you get past this though, that would be huge. Are you gonna jump? Wow, that was amazing. Oh! Okay, okay, ooh, that was rough. I'm gonna be honest, Z Crew. I think you're fucked. A Crew kicked serious ass on their very first life, and now Z Crew's turn. Okay, so the second Goombas, that's the current record. Z Crew, you are now live. You are controlling Luigi, and A Crew, you cannot do anything right now, so you don't need to spam commands or anything. I mean, maybe Z Crew is gonna fuck shit up. Here we go, first Goomba, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, A Crew, all right, A Crew, A Crew. What the fuck? A Crew is like good at this game and gets the mushroom again. I feel like this is, I assumed the first run was a fluke. A Crew was absolutely dominating this game, making it farther and farther into the level. And meanwhile, in their first four out of five lives, Z Crew literally couldn't even clear the first Goomba. Okay. Until finally, A Crew was done and Z Crew was on their very last life. Currently, A Crew has gone in about a third of the level. Z Crew has yet to clear the first Goomba. They have a fifth life. They have to do it right now. Good luck. This is your last chance, Z Crew. One Goomba stands between you and Victor. Okay, nope. 
A crew takes it home. Congratulations, A. That was a strong victory. Woo. Guy Fieri didn't just win Mario Bros. He humiliated Gordon Ramsay and is up two games to one. But next up is Tetris. I am loading up the scripts. A crew, you are on the left side. Z crew, you're on the right. Tetris begins now. Even in Tetris, A crew continued to dominate. Instead of doing Z crew's safe strategy of moving all the blocks to the very left or right, which is pretty easy to do, A crew tried to keep a flat buildup across the middle, even though it's way harder because there's 500 people playing because that's what Guy Fieri would have done. Two very different strategies. Z crew, oh, that was such a missed opportunity. That was real bad. Dan, they're trying to stall. But they can't do it! A crew takes game number one. A crew did lose game two when one of their flashy moves went badly, but they continued to dominate Z crew in games three and four. It would take a real miracle for Z crew to win this one, especially if A crew. Okay, now they move it, they move it. And ladies and gentlemen, A crew has won Tetris. In a display of wild showmanship, A Crew had won Mario Kart, Mario Bros, and Tetris, winning three of the five games and thus proving that the first half of the alphabet is the best half of the alphabet. Congratulations. But even though A Crew had technically won the overall tournament at this point, we decided to play Grand Theft Auto V anyways, just for fun. That is, until A Crew did something crazy. They asked to do all or nothing. I'm not sure how the rest of that crew feels, but I'm fine with this being all or nothing. Yeah, we could vote on an all or nothing here. How about double or nothing? Uh, let's do a quick poll. Double or nothing. One is yes, two is no. I took a poll with the viewers and the consensus was clear. A crew wanted double or nothing. I'm so proud of you all. Putting it all on the line for absolutely no reason is what this stream is all about. This was a Guy Fieri ass move from A crew. I mean, Guy Fieri is the type of guy to go on hot ones, crush the hottest wings in the world and then say, by the way, for the record, no water, no milk. Whoa. Meanwhile, Gordon Ramsay's on there fucking sobbing and chugging Pepto-Bismol. I mean, goddamn, A crew, when did you become so cool? So for this final all or nothing match, the teams will play Grand Theft Auto V. I'm gonna put each team into a car. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of really angry police and they have to run from the cops and survive for as long as possible. The first team to win three rounds wins everything. Round number one, run from the cops at the airfield. So I put A crew in a fancy yellow sports car and let them drive. A crew is up first. Once they are dead, the time will stop, and then Z Crew, that's your time to beat. You guys are live in five seconds. Time is live. Okay, I'm liking this rear view camera right now. Continuing to evade the police. I'm very impressed. This is a strong start. Going in towards the airport entrance. The police are trying to block you off. What's the strategy here? What's the strategy here? What's the Oh, you're escaping! You got away! As expected, a crew went for the glory play. They spiraled around the middle of the airfield, taunting the cops right in their stupid faces. You devious sons of bitches. They're doing donuts, crashing through fences, crashing into walls. If there was anything bold and crazy they could do on this airfield, A crew did it. Okay, I think you're gonna die. I'm not rooting for either crew. Okay, time. And it took over six minutes before the police finally managed to bring Guy Fieri down. Now Z crew was up and they had been beaten down and battered for three games now, but something had changed. All of those years of Gordon Ramsay's precise cooking were starting to pay off. He was starting to become a seriously big celebrity, becoming even bigger than Guy Fieri because people were realizing just how smart Gordon Ramsay can cook and also realizing that Guy Fieri's food is pretty shitty. Like his restaurants are flashy, but they have terrible reviews. Z Crew, you're up. Two, one, you're live. So Z Crew, got into their car, they drove around a little bit, and then did something crazy. They ran into a wall. <laughs> oh no! Z Crew, this could be bad. I'm gonna be honest, this is not a good position to be in. What is he doing? What is he holding? It's a pool cue. Maybe Z Crew glitched out the cops. I don't know. Somehow Z Crew ran into this staircase thing and glitched out the police so that none of them would attack. What is going on? They have guns. What do we do? And so for the next six minutes, the Z Crew got to just sit there with the police not doing anything and run up the clock with the A Crew screaming and complaining the whole time. The mod does not have it set to cop weapons. I did not do this, and that means that Z Crew has won the first round. I don't know what caused it, 
but Z Crew ran into a wall and glitched out the police. That's the way it worked out. It was unorthodox. It wasn't flashy. Nobody respected it. But with one carefully planned, precise move, Z Crew won round one. For round number two, both teams will start on this Ferris wheel pier and try to escape the cops in a monster truck. First up was the A Crew. You guys are going to be live in six seconds. Time's on. Once again, Z Crew. You are not in control right now. This is just A-Crew. You can sit and watch. In a cheeky move, A-Crew drove off the pier, across the beach, and jammed themselves into this ravine thing. Police are definitely shooting now. We, we fixed that problem. Or going into the water. I guess maybe you can stall? This ravine made it really difficult for the cops to actually find the A-Crew. And it took over three minutes for the cops to finally track them down and kill Guy Fieri. Now was the Z-Crew. Z-Crew, redemption time. Live. Five Star Police, three minutes, 18 to beat. They jumped off the pier, but in another calculated move, stuck themselves along that wall at these extremely awkward angles for the cops to shoot at. And they just had to beat three minutes and 18 seconds. Oh no, they might be stuck. They might be stuck. They might be stuck. This could be bad. They're stuck. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Cops are getting out of the cars. They're starting to shoot. This could go either way. Three, two, one. Z Crew just fucking beat A Crew. What? You had one shot left and you fucking did it. Z Crew takes round two. By jamming their monster truck against a wall, Z Crew had taken round number two. And now, potentially the final round airplanes. I'm gonna put both teams into an airplane and whoever can survive longer wins. A Crew, you're gonna be up first. Flying an airplane is certainly not the time to make flashy plays. But you try telling that to the A crew. You guys are live in six seconds. Good luck. Timer's starting. You're in the air. There's no going back now. There is no going GTA back now. Code okay. Straightened out. Straightened out. Dare I say it, A crew might be pulling the best GTA fire of their lives. Narrowly avoiding the crown, but now not narrowly avoiding the crown. 20 seconds. And 41 milliseconds. 20 seconds to beat. And now, if Z Crew can just survive longer than 20 seconds, they will win the GTA block and win the entire Twitch chat tournament. With everything on the line, would Z Crew stick with a safe strategy, or is this finally the time to make a bold, crazy play? They could take it all right here, right now. You're gonna be live in six seconds. You have to be 20 seconds. Live. you last longer than 20 seconds, you do win. By barely even leaving the ground, Z Crew made the safest possible play. Just don't fly at all. Z Crew, by driving and not even looking up, have just secured a victory. Some might call it cowardly, and A Crew was fucking pissed, but Gordon Ramsay was back on top, and the Z Crew had won the Twitch chat tournament. Well done. It was officially over, but then Z Crew did something crazy. Quadruple or nothing? Wait, are you saying what you're? What I think you're saying? You're saying that we should do a poll right now, and that that poll is whether or not Z Crew is willing to quadruple their win, and that it all comes down to one more match. That's right. Z Crew wanted to quadruple or nothing. One last match. Well, if you insist, it all comes down to this. And you might think this is stupid, but technically both teams had now won exactly six rounds of games. So this quadruple or nothing is legitimately the tiebreaker to determine the ultimate winner. Zed Crew, do we take the win or do we fucking put it all on the table and show A Crew that it's not a fluke and that you did deserve the win by quadruple or nothing, even though that doesn't make sense because double or nothing would mean it's currently not but we're quadrupling the nothing. This final match will be again in an airplane, but this time I removed the brake command. Now the teams can only move forward. No more reverse, no more stop, no brake, all forward. And now let's finally learn which is the best half of the alphabet. First up is A Crew. A Crew are live in six seconds. Good luck. 
You're driving. No going back now. You're off in the air. You do not want to look down now. A crew last... <laughs> A crew lasts 8.72 seconds. Really putting it all on the fucking table. In a fit of wild emotion, A crew immediately crashed their airplane. Their flashy plays had utterly failed. And Z crew just needed to live for a measly eight seconds to win. Z crew, this is for a quadruple or nothing win. Three hours of Twitch chat battles. It comes down to this. You're live in six seconds. They died in five seconds! <laughs> and that means that A Crew, after giving up the win with a double or nothing, and Z Crew taking the double or nothing, but throwing it down for a quadruple or nothing, loses it all, and A Crew wins today's Twitch chat showdown. Congratulations to the A Crew. Well done. And I can safely say that every single person in this chat focused on winning with honor and for the most dramatic story instead of doing anything that was logical or reasonable or man, any goddamn sense. Despite being handed a free win, Z Crew lost it all with the worst performance we'd seen all day. So ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to announce that the first half of the alphabet is the best half of the alphabet. Congratulations. But even though it was over, Z Crew was pretty upset. A lot of them hadn't even wanted the quadruple or nothing in the first place. And A Crew still thought that glitching out the cops was cheating, and I had removed Z Crew's safe airplane strategy. That wasn't fair. Suck it, Z Team. A, A, A. A. And A Crew was taunting them, and Z Crew was angry, and A Crew was angry until finally someone spoke up in the chat. Amidst all the anger and confusion from how badly I organized this tournament, a single person spoke up and said, Can we do the final one all together? And soon, all of the viewers were saying it. Can't we just work together? Now it is time for all of us to join together as Team Alphabet. Unity. All across the chat, they started asking for the two rival teams to unite, to set aside their differences, to come together for one last flight as Team Alphabet. And so on that fateful day, I changed the Twitch chat code. I removed the team's barriers. Now everyone was playing. If true, everybody gets to play now. A crew and Z crew join forces for the good of humanity. And I put Team Alphabet into an airplane at the top of the mountain. So far, they had only flown 20 seconds tops, so I offered to gift 10 subs on Twitch, 50 of my own dollars, if they could survive for 60 seconds together. And if you survive for a minute, uh, I'll give 10 subs. We will come together in unison, forgot our differences, forget the tension, fly off into the sunset like brothers. Pink and yellow combined at last. Team Alphabet. Make it, oh yeah, make it sunset. Hold on. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, the scripts are going live. You guys are live in six seconds. Now it's time to play the best GTA 5 of your lives. Go chat. Oh, Alphabet Crew. And immediate. Oh, oh, Alphabet Crew. The smooth. It was beautiful. Let's play the best GTA of our lives. It's just incredible. I'd say that a single tear is streaming down my face, but it wouldn't be true. I'm sobbing because this is the most beautiful crew I've seen all day long. Oh, into the sunset. That's 30 seconds. That's five gifted subs. Team Alphabet made a play that day that was flashy and precise. They spun around in the air and then dove straight for the lake, the one place that would keep them safe and then waited out the timer. You know, we tried to do that and it never worked. And then when we bring the A crew and Z crew together, it happens. Is that a minute? Is that a minute? Oh my God, you beat a minute. <laughs> All right, 10 gifted subs. Wow. Oh, it's an honor to have watched the best goddamn GTA of my life. And then, w without me doing anything, 
Team Alphabet had taken off into the air and flown towards the ocean. And now you're flying off into the sunset? Maybe the alphabet wasn't meant to be divided. It was destiny. A crew styled in Z crew kept us alive. Harmony. Maybe Guy Fieri and Gordon Ramsay both bring something important to the world. God, I'm not, I haven't done a thing. You flew right into the sun, the power of teamwork. like some sort of beautiful painting. Maybe the alphabet is strongest when the letters are together. The power of the alphabet. Are you gonna die See, guys, here? At the end of the day, when we work no, you're together, not. We can do amazing back things. into the sunset. And now back in. I think you're gonna drown. <laughs> you're just jumping through the ocean like a dolphin. It's beautiful. And that's the story of how A crew and Z crew. How are you doing this? Is this planned? Became Team Alphabet. Gordon Fieri. Oh. Together at last. Together forever. The legends say that Team Alphabet is still flying through the ocean to this day, chasing the sun in perfect harmony. Together forever. Merry Christmas, everybody. 